Hi everybody, how are you all doing? Right, I'm going to do a short video to show you how to make kefir. Now kefir is amazing for your gut health. It's really cheap, it's really simple to make. All you need is your kefir grains, a jug and some full fat milk. Okay, before I start, those of you that are lactose intolerant, have a look into it because when the when it ferments, it gets rid of loads of the lactose, so double check that one for you. So, when you receive your kefir, it should look like this. Can you see properly? It's a bit like cottage cheese. They call them grains. Now this is heap loads in here. I've got so much, I'm giving it out to people. And then all you do with your kefir grains, you put it in a big jar, you want a wide top jar, and then you add the milk, yeah? So you just cover it with milk, like so. I've just covered it with milk, and then you put it in your room temperature to let it ferment overnight. So you do it every 24 hours. So I'm gonna show you, this is my one, this is the ones I'm sending out. So I've got a wide top jar. When I wanna drink it now, so this has been fermenting since last night, I pour all of that into there, and as you can see, the liquid is coming through. Now I'll leave that for a second. Let's see if I can get some more bits out of here. Into my thing. It looks a bit weird, yeah? And it seems a bit weird that you would leave it in room temperature overnight, and you wouldn't put it in the fridge, but don't put it in the fridge. So now what I wanna do is I just sort of gently are gonna sort of scoop this around to get all the liquid through. So it basically ends up in kind of a, a, a thicker consistency than milk would be. Um, it smells a bit weird, so ignore the smell, because um, you might not like the smell. It tastes completely different to what it smells like, I can promise you that. So if you're somebody that is sort of governed by smells, can I try and ignore them? <laughs> And then you just keep scraping, keep scraping. Like, sort of, I'm sort of scraping around the, you know, giving it a gentle sort of, because I don't want to squash my grains through the um, sieve. I've got a silver, a metallic sieve with really small holes, because obviously you don't want your grains to go through. And then I'll keep going until it ends up in that cottage cheese kind of consistency that I showed you before. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And then you'll see that my actual grains is a much smaller amount than the one I showed you first off. Because what happens with these grains is they grow. They, it's live bacteria. Uh, it, yeah, so live bacteria. And it grows. So every time you use it, and depending on the size of your family that you're feeding with it, and there we go, so there's my grains left over. So I'm gonna pop my grains back into my jar, put my sieve down on the side, and then I'm gonna pour my milk on top. And then what I do is I just pour enough liquid that I wanna drink the next day. So that's all I need. So that's all the liquid I need. I now always put this into my smoothie. So I make a smoothie, put in the fruits, the berries, the veg, whatever I decide to do. Pour this in, add a bit of, say, almond milk or soy milk just to top up my smoothie. And this, when it's in a smoothie, tastes like natural yoghurt. Uh, you can drink it just direct. I just prefer to put it in the smoothie. It just tastes nicer. And with your jars, you don't need to wash them daily. You wash them maybe once a week or once every 10 days, that kind of thing. It's, it's fine to leave it. And then what I tend to do, because you leave it open, I tend to put my clean sieve on the top or to, to so you know so in the summer no flies or anything are gonna fly into it because <laughs> that would not be nice would it if a fly flew into it so yeah so that is how you make kefir and this stuff is so so good for you no added sugar just natural good bacteria going into your gut daily and it's and all it costs is the price of full fat milk it has to be full fat milk all right, everybody, um, if anybody would like some inf more information about gut health, send me a message. I've got lots of uh, videos on gut health. 
Also, if you'd like some kefir grain, send me a message and I, uh, it's growing all the time. All right, everybody, I love you lots. Have a fabulous day. Mwah. Bye.